Okay, here we are on the trail around my property. There are the doggies. Hi, Obi. <gasps> Got my headlamp on. It's very wet. It's been raining like crazy here, I know. Out west, they could certainly use some of our rain. But uh, on the hill, it's not so bad here. I mean, rain doesn't stick to a hill. <laughs> but out west, man, it is so lush here. So much water, so much rain. What are you doing there? Oh, what are you doing? He wants to play. Boom, he wants to play. Go, Obi. Go. Go, go, go. Let's see. This way. It's about a... I don't know, 20 minute walk around the property. When we're with the dogs, we do it uh, We do it three different ways. So it ends up being about an hour walk. And uh, about, about two and three quarter miles. So we do three, basically three laps, three trails. Some cross, you know, different ways. One backs and overlaps one of the trails. What are you doing? Don't eat the bark, that's gross. Come on, let's go. I, um, I cut this trail about uh, a little over 20 years ago. Went to the um, army supply store Got myself all outfitted with army gear, including a belt, um, a machete, canteen, and a surveyor's compass. And uh, all of the stuff we were walking now, it was just totally overgrown. And there is some semblance of a trail, and it's just from us, my wife and I, uh, walking on it. Now uh, we're getting into some lower lands. It's uh, pretty heavy, pretty watery. So you can see water right there. Bought some new uh, waterproof boots. They should be coming soon. Let's see. How do I get around this? Oh, getting all wet. There you go. I go this way. It's all, all, all water here. All water right there. Don't want to step in that. <sighs> Where'd the doggies go? We're gonna have to uh, mark the trail for the snow, because sometimes when it snows, we get some of it marked. We have we have uh, plastic rings that we've um, nailed up on some trees. Not plastic rings, but basically. Uh, we got some old scrap white siding and drilled it out into circles. As a matter of fact, here's one coming up right on this tree. Let's see it uh, right there. 
and just nailed it to a few trees. And uh, that helps us a bit. Here's one coming up too. We've had to post no trespassing and uh, to tell hunters to get lost. It's private property. Here is one such sign. Okay, and it's a little wet here. <clears throat> All right, now I go up a hill a little bit and it's a little drier up here as we get up the hill. I, uh, I was just taking a call from a friend a little bit ago. Uh, Right. And um, I was noticing the artesian well has, uh, I don't know what you call them there, water bugs on them. And here it is the end of November. Uh, at night it gets down to freezing or below freezing. I mean, we've had one day where it's down to 18 degrees. And the water bugs are still living. They're still on top of the water in the artesian well. And they seem uh, happy as bugs, happy as bugs in a rug. But the only, the only thing that I can muster from that is that uh, the Artesian well is at a constant, uh, I think it's constant 54 degrees um, all year round. And so uh, compared to the outer air temperature and everything around it, it's, um, it's still warm. <laughs> At least warm enough for these bugs. So, um, I don't think on this pass we're actually going to be going by the well. We go by it twice, not thrice. Maybe we go by it again. I don't know. Are we going by the well again? Ellen? What? Are we going by the well again? Are we going by the well? Yes. Oh, good. Then I can take a picture and show you the... You can take a look and see the, uh, the bugs I was talking about that are still living there. That's Neo in front of me. See his nice ridge. Neo, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Here's another one of those rings. They've been up there for 20 years, 20 something years. Some of them, the trees have started to grow around them. Gives you a sense of time. So we're in slightly lower land now. All in there, although you can't see it. That's all wetlands over there. And it is a little wet right here. A little squishy. Because of all the rain, it just rains every night it seems. Look at that. Here's here's a tree that fell down that had one of those roundy things, but it's gone. It's down now. That's how old it is. <laughs> Amazing. There's Obi coming up from behind. Takes the lead. So uh, this artesian well, it's got to be about 200 years old at least. And it's a natural spring, but uh, apparently, you know, whoever, when this was all farmland, you can see the, the walls here. See that wall, that stone wall? That wall's been here for a long, long, long time. Anyways, uh, they cut big, huge granite 
blocks and, uh, and line the well. The other thing that we have up here, uh, there are some wet spots and we've built uh, little footbridges. I think one of them is a little bit misplaced. This one's pretty good here. You see a little footbridge. Uh, we got four or five of them. This one, I think, is misplaced. This one needs to move. It used to get wet here, and that's why we put it here. But it doesn't really get wet right in that spot anymore. And there, is some, there are some spots further up. It would be far more useful. Coming up to the, the well now, you can see it coming through there. Here it is. Here's the well. Hey, y'all. There are bugs on this. Let's see if we can find them. There's one right there. There he is. And keep in mind, it has, like I said, dropped below freezing almost every night in the past week. One, one day, during the day, it was 18 degrees. Come on, come on, let's go. It's super wet over here. It's another bridge. Not long enough. Come on, let's go. All right. Should be another bridge up here soon. Normally we would go that way, but it's all water. So, we've got to go around it a little bit. Maybe that's where we should put the other, the other bridge. Probably hear, heard my foot squish there. Here's another bridge. That well uh, feeds into this, this little brook here. This brook feeds that brook. And that brook meanders along the property, around the perimeter of the property, and then heads off. You can see it right there. And heads off and uh, feeds into uh, another place called Black Rock. Brook. Another bridge. And now we go up a big ass hill. And uh, we got some winter moths in front of us. Not really out in force right now. But. Um, there's a period, it's really unusual, the, it's really amazing rather, that you get these moths that, uh, that don't only come out in the cold <laughs> at the end of the year. Pretty wild. And then we got the water bugs. All right, well that's almost the whole loop, short by about five minutes going around the property. It's not around the whole property, just the back half. All right, well, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next video. All right, so this is, uh, this is off of the loop and this is the path back up to the house. The loop starts about, I don't know, 500 feet behind the house or so. So, we'll take that. And uh, you get to see the clearing. Let's see, Let's see down here, 
my son is building a cabin. I don't know if you'll see, but there's a big tree that fell across the foundation of it. Damn, I'm gonna move that. It's all uphill from here. Most of my land is uh, probably in terms of vertical height, maybe, um, I don't know, 60 to 100 feet below where the house is. There's another marker. I don't know why we need that. <laughs> You can see the house. Here we are. There she blows. And you can see the green screen in my cellar. Walkout basement. Nice porch. We got a water capture system here so everything stays dry below the deck. And, and we're back. Home sweet home.